Welcome back to the AEC video series on the AEC settings. In this part, we're actually going to cover the page customization tab. So from the AEC settings, we'd click on the page customization tab. And custom redirects is the first thing that comes up. You can decide to use your own plans page instead of the AEC plans page. There is a video on using this. Depending on the logic flow you're using, you may need to add some jQuery so that the user ID gets passed. And in that video, we'll actually cover this part if you're using a custom plans page in that video. If you decide to set up and you don't like the AEC thank you page, cancel page, or not allowed page, you can set up your own. And if it's global for every single plan, you can actually put them in here, the actual URL to the Joomla content where you set up that particular page. Over in this area here, AEC has a menu item system that once you install it, and we'll cover that in a video, it will show the different menu item IDs that are tied to the different items so that modules will show on the left and right hand side. This will actually not work if you have to turn on simple URLs to yes, because this would actually be stripped from the URL itself. But this gives you an idea if they go to the item cart page, this is what shows. You can show a module then based on that item ID. But this will be covered in the AEC menus. The main thing to make sure of here, and what I usually do, is after I've made changes in the menu system, I'll go ahead and delete these if I haven't put in a custom one. I'll hit apply, come back to it, and you'll notice that AEC automatically picks up the ones that are still in the menu system. But I can override them from here if I want to give it a different item ID based on the menu system so that different modules show. Now when you come down, you're going to see different areas here. Now if they're not already open, you can double click on them and open them up. But this is custom text. You can add custom text to your plans page at the top, the AEC generated one. And the nice thing about using these down here is it still uses the AEC generation and rewrites based in the system. You can use add custom text for the confirmation page. And you can also tell it if you want to keep the original text in some of these sections by setting it to yes or no. You can make custom text checkout page, exceptions page, not allowed page, text pending page, hold page, and expired and thank you page. But you can basically play with these if you don't like what AEC generates itself and add your own text to each of the items. Now some of these items can be overridden based on the groups and also based on the plans, but this will be for those that are not overridden in the plans or the group settings themselves. But you can change all the information you want and customize AEC to behave and look in the front end the way that you want. Thank you very much.